Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed and I'm coming to you from my foyer today and I am sitting in front of one of my favorite pieces. This is my Goodwill dresser. It's one of the first pieces I redid with Annie Sloan chalk paint and I get tons of questions about it on my blog. It's one of my most viewed posts and it's the thing that gets repinned the most on Pinterest. So you guys love it, I love it. So I'm here today to kind of show you how to get the same look. This is a very heavily distressed look. So I'm going to go step by step and show you each process I did to get this to achieve this look. So we're ready to start painting now. I've gone ahead and cleaned it off my piece so it's free of dust and dirt. I just used some hot water and a wash rag. Um, I'm going to use my Annie Sloan chalk paint in old white. I'm going to be painting right out of the can. I'm not going to thin it out with any water because I want my first coat to go on really thick. The brush I'm using is a Purdy sash brush. Um, it's two and a half inches, but you can use any size that you want. Um, I'm using a synthetic brush. Normally I use a uh, all natural bristle brush to chalk paint, um, but for this look I want lots of brush strokes and I want it to be really expressive. So uh, I, this is what I use to paint the piece behind me, so that's what I'm gonna use today to use this. So let's just jump in and get started. And in here when I have detailing like this, I don't always cover this with um, paints. I want to see that wood coming through. It just helps later on when you're distressing. So if you have detailing like that, try to not get gloss of paint in there and have some of that wood show through. So for this look, we're going to do really expressive strokes. And what I mean by that is like I'm going to go up and down and over. And I'm just kind of, I hate to use this word, but I'm really just kind of like slapping it on. I'm not keeping my brush strokes in the same direction. I'm not trying to make them really even. I just want to make sure I don't have drips, but I'm putting it on um, very expressively, as you can see, I have a drip there. And that's going to give you that really distressed look. When we go ahead and add the dark blacks, it's really going to pick up those strokes and give it a really cool, shabby, distressed look. So here I'm going to show you how to paint the side to get those expressive strokes. I'm just going to go X's up and down over. Um, you're just, your goal is to just cover and not worry about what it looks like. So as you can see, I'm kind of going all over the place, just making sure I'm covering up the wood. I'm not really dipping back in for more paint on this first coat. I want it going on thick. You can see I kind of just went up and down and all over the place and there is some still wood showing. This is just our first coat. So we're going to go back over our second coat and cover up any areas we want, uh, but this is what you should look like after your first coat. I'm now ready to start my second coat of paint, and for this one, I've put a little bit of paint in a container, and I'm gonna thin it out just a little bit, so I'm just gonna spray a little water, water in there and stir. For the second coat, I'm still going to do the same thing, go in all different directions. Um, and you don't have to cover every section of wood, especially when we're going for a really distressed look. It's okay if you see some wood peeking through. It's going to feel weird to do that, but trust me, it'll be a lot easier to distress and get that worn look if you don't cover every inch of wood that you see. And again, I'm going to show you how to paint the side with those brush strokes, just up and down and all over. Here's a close-up of the drawer, so you can still see a lot of that wood coming through, which is what you want to be going for. The last thing we're going to paint today is our hardware, so I went ahead and removed all my hardware from my piece, and I'm going to paint it with this Rust-Oleum universal hammer paint and primer in one. It's black and it gives it a metal finish. You can paint over anything. It already has a primer in it. So all you have to do is basically lay these down, spray paint them, um, let them dry, do a couple more coats. Um, and I recommend doing this the first day you paint so that they'll be all dry and ready to go after you wax your piece and put it all together. I'm all done painting for today. So we're gonna let this dry. And the next time I see you, we're going to distress the piece and clear and dark wax it. So in the meantime, check out prettydistress.com for more tips and ideas on chalk painting, and you can check out the description below for links to all the products that I used today. We'll see you next time.